go and do a quick little vid. Um, this is a pepper plant I saved. Um, it was dead for a little while, but now it's back. Lazarus and all that. Um, this is my back porch. I'm setting it up for uh, growing some plants back here. It's a total mess. There's my Thai pepper plant. Uh, tobacco plant. It's not liking the cool weather even back here. And uh, some basil. <laughs> and uh, there's going to be a table back here and I'm going to uh, be growing some plants. But I've just been totally rearranging things and i got all kinds of crap in here. We've had uh, a couple of nights of freezing. These hoop houses were great. They did a good job. Um, there's the pumpkin. Pretty much pulled everything off of it. There's one. I'm going to take that up and put it on the porch, even though it's green. This thing's about dead. Here's uh, the other hoop house we did. Put some black plastic under the bottom of that because it didn't quite reach. I was going to take and put it down on stakes, but I decided I'd put some black plastic, gather some heat, um, leave it up high because there's still some peppers up there. Didn't want to really take the top off of them. And we did another one up here. About the same thing. That was quick. Took about 20 minutes. <laughs> So they, they're real easy, especially when you're starting to figure them out and you, you know, get all the tools figured out for them. <clears throat> Frost has kind of killed some stuff. Squash is about dead. The arugula is still doing great. A little resistant to cold weather. Um, pick this uh, chard earlier. Started getting the worms into it. Got some summer squash to run around and pick up over here. And uh, more chard, some parsley. Now there's my tree. Leaves are going to start falling off of it. It's a little uh, tree I've been tucking the branches into. <clears throat> Corn. <laughs> What's left of it? Uh, kale coming up or something like that. And, uh, Some lettuce going to seed. And basically, that's about it. Um, got a couple projects going on in the house. Been making uh, some uh, hard cider. I guess you'd say it's hard cider. And uh, I'll be heading in there now, I guess. I guess I might as well show this. I uh, picked up some acorns. I <laughs> uh, picked up about probably 30, 40 pounds of them. I saw that there was this acorn tree and it just dropped a lot of, not acorns, geez, uh, chestnuts. So I roasted them. A couple of them blew up in our faces because didn't, I didn't X them far enough, get all the way through the skin. Um, so we had a couple little hand grenades there. Uh, they're all powdery. I'm just trying to re-roast them now. Pretty sure it's not going to work, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. So... Anyway, I'll uh, make a comment if they're any good. They're they don't taste bad. They're powdery. Um, I might ha I've never tried this before. I might was supposed to wait and uh, let them develop a little bit. I have no idea. Anybody has any idea? I'd really appreciate to know, to understand how to make those uh, chestnuts a success. Thanks. Well, here's some uh, produce I got after the hoop house. It's kind of dark in there. Um, after I put up the hoop house, these have all come on. They would have all, um, they probably wouldn't have come on at all. There's a bunch of tomatoes and um, yellow pepper, and there's more green peppers in there that are keep that have kept growing. Nice sweet uh, Chinese peppers. Okay, here's my uh, hard apple cider setup. Got uh, seven gallons of cider. Cost two bucks a piece. Um, I got a cider bottle with an airlock uh, water in it have these uh, the lids I drilled out with this <clears throat> uh, drill <laughs> with a uh, you know multi-step bit on the end those are pretty cool if you want to do different kind of holes different size of holes not change the bit and uh, <clears throat> all the stuff all the extra stuff cost me a couple dollars of grommets uh, 3 8 to a quarter the hose, 12 cents a foot, and uh, <clears throat> just some yeast. I just put in regular uh, yeast in it, bread-making yeast. 
And uh, I took off. Um, <clears throat> I I kind of didn't really start out knowing what I was doing, so uh, it took me a long time to put everything together. I was sterilizing everything, and I always go a little overboard. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> I, I had a whole bunch of pots, you know, st um, I was actually cooking the apple cider, getting it up to 100 degrees, got everything exactly right, and uh, put sugar in water, made a syrup, and mixed it all together uh, perfectly, and so this stuff should go pretty well. <clears throat> I've also seen on another vid that you can uh, use gelatin as purifier, and I plan to, well, clarifier, plan to pour some gelatin in these things and, and uh, clarify a bit, and uh, from... All I've heard and seen, stuff should be pretty good. I guess that's about it. <clears throat> Talking a little slow, I don't know, I'm, I feel like uh, throwing up right now. Must be catching something. So on that happy note, y'all take care, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Oh yeah, wait. You also got to keep this in the dark. I've thrown a bunch of uh, old uh, sport coats and stuff over top of those that I don't wear anymore. And uh, keep the light off of them. <clears throat> so anyway <clears throat>